And that's it, just being aggressive, being able to get that lead runner, very important, very key. But this defense, they have a bunch of veterans in the infield, and, and that's what they, they know how to do. Runner on first for the Conference USA Player of the Year, Melissa Gregson. Hitting 321. Espinosa, just a sophomore. But as we said, you know, last year they kind of tried to work her in slowly, didn't want to put too much pressure on her in her freshman year. She had a quiet 19 wins, and then this year she's been their go to pitcher, and you can see why with that strike there. This is exactly what she did last weekend in Knoxville, keeping the Tennessee hitters off balance and Right there, just staying right on that corner, keeping it low at the knees. Not much a hitter can do if they don't, they don't attack it. And much like Anderson did, just trying to make contact now. And Gregson, very loose before the game. We went down and kind of checked into the batting cages to see what the mood was for the Houston Cougars. And she was singing like it, the bat was a microphone, dancing a little bit, but she looks like she's all business at the plate right now. And the gap between first and second. Everybody's safe, so two runners on for the Cougars. It's hitting 340, but first team conference USA. You. You can see these Houston hitters really trying to mix things up early. They're a 282 club on the season. You look at her numbers there, very effective at getting on base. But on the road, they're actually hitting better. 305 as a team on the road, and that's because they love to use the dirt and get the defense moving. Bell away. Oklahoma State catcher Ashley Boyd couldn't quite get there despite the effort. And right now you see Kat Espinosa going right at these hitters, three strikes in a row. Holly Anderson doing a good job of fouling off a pitch that isn't there, but you know she, she's going to use her defense to try to get them to miss hit the ball and hit her pitch. 0-2 count. Miles away another ball to keep the at-bat alive. Anderson with two RBI in that first game against Louisiana Lafayette in the regional last weekend. And a one-two count. job here to just keep making contact down one two in the count but she's staying alive at the plate Leah and Holly Anderson just painting that inside corner trying to get her hands so she cannot get extended and that's what she's doing right there but Holly's doing a great job of just continuing the battle and trying to get the barrel of the ball it's a right up the middle here it'll be a base hit for Anderson a very effective at bat for the sophomore but despite that good record, they finished just eighth in the Big 12. They finished the Big 12 season on a six-game losing streak. Their coach said, hey, that's all behind us. Those moments have prepared us for postseason play. Already, 